When the lights come down and I leave the stage, it's you. Welcome, everybody, to the Direction of the Heart Discussion Web Television Series with me, Mike Aloya, my partner, Mr. Pete DiLorenzo from New Jersey, and my executive producer, Mr. Bruce Shepard. We are here to talk about the message of global peace and how we can make a difference in this world to bring this world to a peaceful world instead of having all this chaos and insanity and the evil that's among us. i tell you what, Pete, the first thing that came to mind to start this show was uh, was your T-shirt that you're wearing. Yeah, you noticed that. Hey. Huh? Well, you know, that's my motto. I close out. See, right, see what, show, show everybody. So Can, what they, it see that? Can they all see it? All right. All right. So so after it, okay. the hand of God. After the hand of God, of God at the shoulder of a troubled world. After that's after beautiful. The hand of God. Laughter is the hand of God on the shoulder of a troubled world. Mike, you know I saw that in a farmer's almanac. It said, author unknown, and I kind of adopted it, and it became my slogan. Of course, I have a lot of original ones, and uh, I close out just about every show with that to leave people with a positive and a, and a cheerful thought that, you know, as music, you and I always speak of, is the universal language. Laughter is a healing agent, and uh, I thank God for that gift that when I go on stage and bring laughter to people, and I've said this in a lot of interviews, too, that, you know, I... I I see the people out there, and it's their time. You know, it's my livelihood, yes, but it's it's their, that time I'm on stage is, is their time, and they're the people that pay to come in and see you. And you have to remember that, and that's uh, very much advocated in my upcoming movie, The Mentor. And you know, I mean, I see people from all walks of life, you know, every race, color, creed, uh, you know, and I see people that are suffering. I see people that are sick. I see, you know, who's going through a divorce or who's got a kid home sick or you know, a couple going through a divorce, and you walk out there for an hour. A man in a microphone against a brick wall or a curtain behind you, and you bring him that gift of laughter, and, and it heals the heart. Uh, the gift of laughter is a beautiful thing, brother. I mean, in fact, we need to have the redneck Muslim on here on the discussion. <laughs> Give us some laughter. <laughs> My father's a comedy magician. But you know what? You, you want to know how to make God laugh? Is tell him your plan. Yeah, well, God has a sense of humor, you know. It's, look at the platypus. <laughs> right? <laughs> you no, know, I mean, we could see. <laughs> but anyway, Bruce Shepard and me this have been book. talking about a lot of different things lately, and so many great things are opening up. I just say this, I don't mean to interrupt, but Bruce, I want to acknowledge that, you know, it's always the people behind the scenes, and as his, as your producer, I mean, he does a lot of work. Uh, and, and, and it makes this show successful for us. And uh, thank you, Bruce. You're a great man. Say thank you. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> the speaker was allowed. He can't put your good ear to the speaker while I'm listening. It takes, to a, little while for, <laughs> takes a little while for it to kick in. <laughs> well, I know that Bruce had sent you a oh, video no. that really moved you. And what video was that that Bruce sent you? Uh, you know, I don't recall exactly what piece, but I can look it up in my... You had, he had sent it to me in my inbox, and it was quite powerful that... You know, Mike, we're, we're about love and peace. And, and, and when I watched that, I says, You know, Bruce was calling it as it is. It wasn't as if, uh, you know, he, he was ranting and raving. Uh, but hold on one second, I'm looking it up. Um, but, you know, some people, even Jesus rebuked. You know, we don't judge. It was called Amish Smurf... Amish Snurf uh, is evidence of... Uh, fundal atheist bullying and what do we stand for you know we're against bullying you know you might even want to maybe do a role in it at peace because <laughs> it was powerful uh, and uh, you know I watched it and I, I gave him a thumbs up and I said to him right in the inbox on Facebook that uh, you know call it as it is of course we're always about peace and we won't want to have to you know go down somebody's throat or go at them and bite their nose off kind of you know, but bottom line, you know, he called it as it is. And you get all, all the time, a lot of these people that just sit back and they always got to flap their jaws and they can mouth off and criticize when they don't know what they're talking about. And, 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 and they're very critical and they're very, uh, you know, pessimistic. And so I think Bruce did a good job of setting whoever that person was. <laughs> <laughs> Kudos, Bruce. Well, Bruce, I want Bruce to give his take on what we're doing with our show and what the discussions we're having, the topics and everything. 
Bruce is very passionate about trying to, to make this a better world. In fact, he gets so aggravated sometimes, I have that's to calm him down or he's going to have a heart attack. That's it. And it clearly came out in that piece. You know, but, <laughs> so well, that's righteous. That's, that's righteous in Zoe's You know, even Jesus went to the temple and chased out the money changers. So that was like, I looked at that and watched that piece and I said, that's righteous anger. <laughs> <laughs> let let Bruce let Bruce give you his 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 heart about what he feels about yeah, our whole, he, our whole concept and the whole message of global yeah. peace. Well, uh, I, I think it's yeah. the best idea you could possibly push. But uh, people that see the world as it is and are living and experiencing a lot of trials and tribulations in their lives, they're going to you know think of that idea and they're going to smirk and say, how is that going to be possible? Honestly, to tell you the yeah. truth, in the state of the world that it's in now, it's going to take God to bring global oh, peace. Absolutely, Bruce. You said uh, we discussed with that. ISIS And uh, we have a corrupt government. Uh, I got another video I'll send you of uh, our buddy JB that does Fearless Friday. He did one on Obama's track record. Uh -huh. All the stuff you hear in the news that praises him, Everything in this track record completely. Oh yeah. That he has been doing the job he's been hired to do. Yeah. In fact, he's doing the he's opposite. He's ruining this country. Yeah, he's absolutely ruining and destroying it. I know that. Yeah. But, and, and no, it's not. Uh, a lot of people get up uh, and, and get in a dander about the fact, Bruce, and that's a very good point you brought out. That you know, oh, it's not about that he's black. It's not about that. Uh, even the fact that he's Islam. The fact is, is he has denounced God. He says we're no longer a Christian nation, wants to rewrite our constitution, yep. wants to get God out of everything, morals. Uh, he's out shooting golf while those soldiers were left stranded and died in Benghazi. He's lied about everything. He hasn't brought back the troops. He's been in almost eight years, and what has he done? He's like, ha-ha, vacation, shoot golf. You know, the, the, the elderly, the vets, the sick, the needy. Right? Who goes and names a health care after himself? Obamacare. I'm not with that one. I mean, I'm sorry. I got to call it as it is, too. This well, is he's imposed a, a law where he mandated that we have to pay this or we're going to be fined. Yeah. Us, what, what is that? Jail. You know, you know doesn't that's that the like, Doesn't that sound like uh, something from, as we said, history repeats itself? You know, isn't that like a dictator? Yes. And, you know, there's something that really, there's something I, I just it's not remember. I listened, not, I, listened that's a radio, I listened to the radio late at night, and I came across, uh, I think it was on Coast to Coast Radio, or it might have been on Hannity or somebody, um, of the lady that would call uh, was calling in, and she was a from Syria. Uh -huh. And she was pleading and pleading and pleading to please help the Syrian people. There's actual genocide taking place yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. There is yeah. a holocaust. Yeah. Where yeah. Syrian Christians and people are being murdered. And we've been and, talking about this, that it goes on in a lot of countries. Yeah, the genocide. And it's happening yeah. right under our noses right now. Absolutely. He's got FEMA camps for coffins lined up. He don't care about, he has no regard for life. I don't know, you know, and I'm not saying this to be critical, you know, uh, but I have to call it as it is. And, and, and the scriptures uh, admonish us on this, that there will be people that will come about in the last days, which we are living in, as, as Bruce uh, just brought out. And Mike, you and I have discussed this on past shows, uh, that, you know, Christ is the one that's going to return and, and put things in order. But until then, and Bruce had a very good point, we've discussed that, that there will be the agnostics, there will be the atheists, there will be the negative ones, there will be the people that will say, oh yeah, right, peace, yeah, and oh, it's been like this since the beginning of time. But if we just, like I said many times, sit back and do nothing, at least collectively, we are stronger in numbers to try and turn it around, to educate the young people, to to put God back there where, where he belongs. This is America, man. Oh, I wish we had I an administration. God and state. I wish we had a president and an administration like the one we had back in the Holocaust. When we right. went and we've got we saved those Jewish people from those concentration camps. Yeah. And people are being killed in in, in and Christians are being murdered, and our nation is doing nothing. And to me, that just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right at all. You know, just yesterday, if I might just interject this, it's kind of personal, but uh, I had to bury a man that was extremely close to me. He was like a second dad. I've known the family for uh, over 20 years. And he served in Korea. 
during the war. Now, would you believe? Now, you've seen our our prisoners of war when they're taken prison don't get treated right. And we've seen many, many stories of. Uh, I mean, even McCain, who was running for president, was a prisoner of war, and, and others. But he, when he was in Korea, when they had you know Korean prisoners, he was bringing them food. He was bringing them shoes. <laughs> prisoners of war that we had, you know, in hostage, if you will. Uh, he was he was showing them empathy and compassion, even though they were prisoners. So you, you see what I'm saying. How many people would do something like that? That's the kind of man he was. He was a, a man of dignity, a man of integrity, a man with uh, a heart. And Carrot talked about humanity and direction of the heart. That's what, that's what he did. He brought those prisoners shoes. He brought them food, things like that. Now, we've had our soldiers, men and women, that were prisoners, and they tortured them. Yeah? Well, I tell you what, we just had our little table collapse on us here while we were talking. We had a little earthquake. <laughs> See, we get so zealous about what we're talking about. We rock the world. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> kind of like life. You don't see some things coming. It's like, whoa, my ashtray, my mouse went everywhere. But I was, I was catching what you're saying. I'm going to be listening to that re-recording. <laughs> That's okay. I was now, just, you know, I, I tell you what, laugh and integrity that even though during during the war that he, we had taken prisoners and such as our men and women during war have been prisoners that he was showing compassion and empathy to the Korean prisoners that we had how many people would do that you know we got men and women that were prisoners during war and they were tortured and everything so that's, that's what I was saying while well, you had a little <laughs> I could uh, I, I tell you man it's uh it just amazes me you know and it makes me realize how blessed that I am to live in America and to, to be here where there's and and you know people say don't think it can't happen in our country well I tell you what man it has and it is we don't protect our Constitution and we don't protect our rights and if Americans don't stand up to these administrations that are bullying the American people and dictating well, you know, to us. That's, that's it. And, you know, we, you and I, and we, we, we lobby for anti-bullying to children, to the elderly, to animals, uh, the bullying. Is, but we have, right in our own government, as Bruce brought out, this is our own government. We never, when we were younger and in school studying history, would have thought that we would see like a dictatorship coming right out of the White House. Help me out with that. I mean, and, you know, I'm not trying to be rude to our president, uh, but I really have no respect for that man. Whatsoever, when he's going to stand there so smug, okay, with it, with his stunt, uh, like thinks he's got himself attitude, yeah, and, and gets up there lies like a <sighs> red America, compulsively compulsive liar, hasn't fulfilled any, and, and and on top of that, you know, I mean, you're going to go in there and you're in prison, you say, well, I'll run a third term and let me see if anybody's going to do anything about it. Excuse me. This, you know, this president has uh, signed more executive orders than any president. We write our constitution, which our country, that and the Declaration of Independence was founded on, and then go and say we're no longer a Christian nation. Take prayer out of the schools, but they pray Muslim and Islam prayers on the steps of the Capitol. Help me out with that, people. There's something very wrong there. Okay. Well, and and you know, it's it, about it, lies about his birth certificate. We all know that was forged and, and photoshopped. He was not born in Hawaii. He was born in Kenya. He came to uh, this country on a scholarship. He had parents that uh, 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 they were like uh, foster parents or whatever from uh, Indonesia. Okay, and he came here and he studied college and was studying communism. That's a fact. A roommate of his testified to that. He has been found on tax fraud, real estate fraud, exact, and used a name Barry Soranto, I believe it is which is uh, that name and his SS of a dead man. This is our president? That's scary. That's scary. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about this situation? Uh, recently, I saw in uh, news ads, the University of California uh, has allowed their students to take down the American flag. That appalls me. I, I don't get that. Uh, I'm thinking, well, then we should... Sh just cut all government funding, state funding, anything coming from the United States government towards that school and let it be if they're going to do that. 
you know what? I, I, I'm with you there because you know what? They only know us when they need something. You know, and they're going to take down our American flag. We we have helped so many countries, Bruce. If you think about it, I mean, other countries probably still owe us money, France and this country and that country. But you know, I mean, the the irony of that's going to get it. He came out of nowhere, Obama. He came out of nowhere, and all of these people funded him from Chicago. All right, and and and, and he had communistic values that he now in power in the White House. I mean, he's like a plant. We're fighting these terrorists. And he's like a planter. He's sending money to these countries saying, well, we just want to keep good terms with them. Hello? They attacked us on peacetime. What are That's our right. Weapons? We've That's aided flag them. stands for America at its core and Absolutely. what Americans went through in order to maintain stars is uh, just 13 forward. colonies as it was, fought the Revolutionary War, went to the Civil me. War, and now we got students in California that are so ungrateful they're going to take down the flag. You know what? Well, okay. Be so, a sovereign they're state, they're so and you get no fire department, no police department either. But they know how to milk the system, people like that. And if they don't like this country and they don't want our flag, then let them leave the country on the first boat. I'll pay for their ticket. Absolutely. That's one thing, you know, when we had our uh, interview with Victoria Redstall last week, that was uh, really cool. And uh, she brought up a great point. It's start here at home. America. Absolutely. And this is what we've been advocating oh. this week on the show. It we starts can't have at home. relationships with people that don't want a relationship. Yeah. But we can help the ones that need help. Yeah. You know, you know, the travesty of our judicial system is and and. and you know, I mean, you run a red light, you get we've a ticket. We've got to fix it. America. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm using a metaphor. You run a red light, you pay a ticket. You speed, you pay a ticket. But you know how the judicial system is kind of uh, double standards. And juries are bought, judges are bought. Uh, you, you see the innocent are found guilty and the guilty walk free. Right now, that man that is sitting in the White House is guilty of more crimes that he should have a cell right next to Bernie Madoff. Come on. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious. And yet, he's walking around, hey, hey, playing golf. You know, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, I, I don't get it either. And, you know, it's... it's uh, To want to rewrite... Really, it, you know what's weird, Pete, is almost... All of it? People I, don't want to... Uh, people get offended if you talk bad about Obama. A lot of liberals... Don't offend anyone, you know, everyone has... Like you got to watch your P's and Q's. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, but we also are not going to walk on eggs. Am I right, Bruce? You know, we're not going to walk on eggs. Hood? About it. Oh. Instead of reading Little Red Riding Hood, our kids are going to be reading, uh, what was it? Uh, They're going to be reading Mein uh, Kampf. Height challenged, uh, you know, Native American hood, yeah, uh, hood sports wear, you know. Got a point there, Bruce. Mike <laughs> just talked about that on our last show. Is that what did Hitler do? He was brainwashing the youth. And, and you know, if you're going to go and replace the Bible and, and, and uh, like you said, you know, uh, standard literature with, with that kind of propaganda and brainwashing, and they're actually teaching Islam and these values into certain schools, and it's been brought up, and that, but yet you want to take away the Pledge of Allegiance. They want to take, they take away Pledge of Allegiance, they take away the Lord's Prayer, they take away the Day of Prayer, all right, and, and all of these things, uh, it, and, you know, not to be redundant, but we've talked about this many times, if they're not getting it in the home, our young people, they're not getting it in church, if they're not getting it at school, then where are they going to get it? And well, more, what the problem is, you know, what the problem the is, executive of our nation in power, and he's a dictator. I'm sorry, he is. But he but, is. But there's a lot of people in the school systems and in where everybody's perfect. trying to take God, God out of everything. He should have been not enough people standing up to right. say to keep it in. Right, Mike. You know, not to get political because I, I dispense of the politics, but I'm talking about morals. And humanity, because that's what we are about, and God, and that's what our show is about. And this man is a criminal, he's a liar, and bottom line, if that was you or me or anybody else, you'd be, for less than that, you'd be behind bars. Why is this man still in the White House? Why hasn't he been impeached? Well, you know, and I know the answer to that, too. He's got them all in their pocket. They're all afraid of losing their jobs, their benefits, this and that. They're all in his pocket. So they keep their mouth shut, and he thinks he's going to get in a third term now. You know, but you know, we also cannot question God's hand that these things that have to come to pass must come to pass. So God is, is the one orchestrating it all. But if that guy's in for another four years, he definitely will bring this country totally to its knees. Look what he's done in the last seven and a half. <clears throat> you know, I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican. 
and I, I am more of a conservative, independent, and believe in capitalist nation, one nation under God. Thank you. One nation that under God. That's the Amen. way this country was created, That's and right. it, the way it has strived to become a beacon of light in a, in a, in a, in a, in a country that, that represents freedom. Right. And if people don't wake up and protect these freedoms the way our forefathers fought and died, and our soldiers right. are dying right now, if the people don't rise up within the communities, within the states, within these school elected uh, systems or whatever, and put make sure that God and our values and morals exactly. aren't taken away, values and disintegrate the fabric. Now, I'll, I'll give you an example. And, you know, photos can be photoshopped and everything. And I'm, again, I do not judge anyone. But I have to question what quality of a person is this that is in the White House where showed him in college and his own roommate testified to the fact that he was studying Marxism and this and that. And you could see clearly him sitting in his room at college with an afro, smoking a joint with a big poster of Idi Amin behind him, standing there like with that same, <laughs> same. Now there, there's, there's somebody to have as a, a hero, huh? Idi Amin, a murderer. All right? Yeah. So, what, what does that tell you? That, that tell, I mean, a picture says a thousand words. And I'm not judging. I'm just saying <laughs> as it is. And are these people that blind? America, the land of the free, the home of the brave. And this is what's getting me so emotional, man. Is the best country in the world. And we've well, got I tell you, you know, when, what when, are in their heads? What's in their heads that they don't see this? Are they that blind? And you want I to put remember, words? I, I remember when President Obama was first elected. There was all this crying and tears and historic thing. And you know what? I was really, this is I was right. really yeah. rooting for him. I was like, maybe, you know what? Let's give this guy a chance. Yeah, I agree. The benefit the of the doubt. Way. But he is not a leader. Exactly the same way. Not, it color of his skin. Is a, this is great. It is history. He is, he is a dictator. He's got such a sense of arrogance. Oh, it's, big it's time. pathetic. Big time. Big and every time. time somebody. Uh, you can uh, see it all over his demeanor. Golf course. You know, this thing with, with these beheadings, Bruce, come on, man. <laughs> Calm down. It's like a bull in a china shop over here. You know, you ask yourself, how could this guy be out shooting golf when people are getting beheaded? And he knew about that. He knew about Benghazi. He knew about all of these things. Did nothing. Those soldiers died in Benghazi for no reason because they didn't get help and they didn't get back up. So, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things. I could go I, uh... I'm not here to rip him up. We're just here to state facts that these things are wrong. They are also definitely, definitely signs of the times. As I have never times. thought in my lifetime that I would see beheadings on national television. Yep, you and me both, my brother. We never thought we would even see half the things we're seeing on television and, and, and broadcast. Oh, my God. And we never thought we'd see the conditions of the world at the state it is in right now. We never would have thought that. I mean, you know, it was always war. Like zombie, all this weird gothic stuff, all this gangster crap, yeah, exactly. all these killings, all this. The, the, I mean, all there's four, to four, four shows it. about murder that I've ever seen in my life. Yep. I mean, there is so much on the on the mainstream media. It, it, it's you know, I, I feel sorry. For this generation. Yeah, see, I don't know. Did you want to see the post that I had put um, a few days ago? Um, and this song came out in 1983 by Ann Murray. And she did, it was called A Little Good News Today. And if you watch that video that she did, I mean, you know, showing things that were going on in the world, we thought that was bad. And it's magnified. It's far worse now. And you can watch the video of things that were happening in the 60s, 70s, 80s. As she's doing that song, and the song denotes that, you know, we'd like to just turn on the news for once and hear something good. And it's a beautiful song, and I had put a post with it. I don't know if you had caught that and read it, you know. I think uh, I know what you're talking about. I think I watched yeah, it. It's not that long. Let me see if I could pull it up while we're talking. And, uh, but, you know, basically, it, uh, it, uh, sure, it, it, uh, I, I wrote from my heart uh, in that post. I, I posted the song. And what I wrote along with it was this. Um, I got it right here. I just feel I, I, would like, I would like to share it with our with our with our viewers. Not long. I wrote this uh, to go along with the song because it's what we're talking about now in the realm of that. When you just said, you know, look at where it's at. Look at the stage it's at now. 
And what we want to do is educate the youth and and the big kids, if you will. You know, that's all of us. And what I had put with that posting of the song was this. Together, we can make a change and turn it all around. Replace war and violence with peace and harmony. Replace hatred with prayer. And replace hatred and prejudice with unity and equality for all. Replace need with substance. Replace killings with respect and preservation for life. Replace negativity with positive thinking. Replace fear with hope. Replace despair with faith. Replace lies with honesty and integrity. Replace deceit with trust. Replace complacency with action. Replace corruption with justice. Replace judgment with mercy and forgiveness. For we are all God's children, created in God's image. So reach out and love your fellow man and do something kind for someone. God bless you all and peace and love. I pray that we can reach that level in this world. Well, you know, there we, we have, some of us have, and there are others that are working at it, and there are others that shun it away. They're just caught up in the whirlwinds of money, power, greed, hatred, violence, prejudice, and that's where, as Bruce said earlier, you know, we know only God is going to bring full justice and that was with the return of our Lord Jesus. But until then, you know, we can still plant the seed and collectively, all of us together can make a change. At least put a dent in it, turn it around and get it back on gear, you know. Um, and, and it starts with our youth, you know. The way, like I said metaphorically, the way Hitler poisoned the minds of youth and like, Many of these other, the uh, Al-Qaeda and the ISIS and all of that, they, they ingrain and embed it into their children at a, a young age to hate. What we need to do is turn it around, not only here in our own country, and grab America back, man. Take it back to where it's supposed to be. God and our country and, and love for fellow man and democracy and peace. And turn it around. Plant that good seed and God will give the increase. And that's what he wants us to do. But, you know... There's just, like like you had brought out, and I have said too, it's just like a wildfire that can't be contained, you know? Well, but if we well, keep I, dousing I, it and fire hosing it, you know, we'll quench I, uh, it. I have enjoyed this session with you today, brother. Uh, that is a great yeah, this, note. This to, was it's been on time. And, uh, man, I, I look forward to our next uh, meeting. Do we have some guests coming in next it's week? Really on to add some thoughts to this today too, Bruce. We want to thank you for that. And uh, you know, like I said, that piece you put out there was pretty profound, man. And uh, you know, sometimes maybe you know, it, it, does it take that to get through to some people? You know, uh, spirit of child, spirit of rod, spoil a child, they say, or metaphorically, you know, uh, some people got to get hit up the backside of the head with a two by four. To, to sometimes that's out. what it takes. You know, I tell you what, it's like me. I, I took some hard knocks in life and where I finally woke up and said, you know what, man, you're doing things wrong. It's not about that. I, I had that, that, you know, I have so much in common. <laughs> it, 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 and you know what? Life does throw you hard knocks, but I hope there's enough people that'll wake up and see and, and make the change. And I think it's growing. I know it's growing. Yeah. Well, you know, Mike, we got a lot in common. You and I have said that, my intent, that and, and, and Bruce as well, uh, that, you know, in my childhood, I had good parents, thank God, and, and good upbringing. I never got in trouble with the learning. But I, at the age of 21, I, I just sat back and said, you know, there's more to life than just ha-ha, hee-hee, fun and games and this and that. And I was out there entertaining, and I said, God gave me a gift. And let me use this gift, not only as my livelihood, but let me put it towards the helping of others and making our world a better place. And, uh, and I'll do that to the day I die, and I know you guys will too. You know, I and, appreciate uh, you, and uh, tell us a little bit about the guests that are going to be on next week uh, that we've got scheduled to come in uh, to do a Skype with, uh, I hope we can get this together with them, from Italy, what are their names? Yeah, uh, Tiziana uh, Palazzo from uh, Italy, and uh, Sheena Walker from uh, the UK. Now, Sheena is a, a very renowned author, lecturer, she gives seminars, and Tiziana uh, was one of our correspondents during, uh, and, and, and Sheena was on on Italian TV, along with myself, uh, via Skype during the worldwide October 4th broadcast. And you were one of our correspondents. Tiziana was one with BYOU uh, radio and television there in Italy. So so uh, we will have them coming from the UK with us next week, uh, Sheena Walker, and we'll have Tiziana Palazzo from Italy. That's going to be great. That's going to be great, man. And I look forward to talking with you again next week and having our discussion sessions and talking with you during the week, Pete. I love you, man. 
And uh, to Bruce, God bless. And uh, God bless you. Uh, remember, laughter is the hand of God. What this it? is, right, Pete? <laughs> there you go. Love and one sign. Peace and love on one side. There you go. Live long and prosper. God bless. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> I love you, man. Direction from the heart, brother. Right back at you. Whoa, the table's collapsing. It's going, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you better bolt it down. <laughs> God bless you. We'll see you next week, Pete. Rock and roll. God bless both of you. God bless you, bro.